In this video, we're going to look at uploading a file. Now, it's quite unusual that you might want to do this within a quiz, but it's another way of you obtaining work from a student or from students, which um, is just an alternative from perhaps using OneNote or Teams assignment, etc. So let's just have a look at this. And it may be something that's of use to you. It's just useful to, to know that this uh, facility exists. So we go to Add New, and we're going to go across to the down arrow there to More, and we're going to go to File Upload. Now, what happens automatically is that when you set this up, your students will upload the file to OneDrive. So it's important that when you set your quiz up, if I just go over to settings, that you have it set so that only people in my organization can respond. If you have it to link uh, anyone with, li with the link outside of your organization, this won't work. So it's just important to be aware of that. So how does this actually work then? So we can create our question. Let's quickly build out a question. OK, so I've built my question. So why did the Americans boycott the 1980 Moscow games? And then I've got a certain number of options that I can look at. So how many times can they upload a file? And I can go from one to ten. So they could have ten different files if they wanted to. I'm going to keep that for one for the moment. What's the single file size? So it could be 10 meg to one gig. Let's go for the max for the moment. And then I can give it a number of points. So this could be, for an example, an extended essay type uh, question. So I'm going to go for 20 marks here, for example. And now over here, I'll make it required. They have to do this. Um, but this is really important here. The three spots here, more settings for this question. If you click on that, you will see that it says file type. And that's really important one to be aware of. So if we click on file type, you can see then what types of file will you accept for this particular type of this particular question so yes word i'm not going to bother with excel yes powerpoint a pdf if they want to that's fine an image no video yeah i'll be happy with that and audio if they wanted to make some kind of podcast as well so i've accepted those types of file types um, and then let's have a look at what this looks like then when i go to preview so why did the americans boycott the 1980 moscow games Upload file, and you can see I'm allowed one upload and number one gig, and my file types are Word, PowerPoint, PDF, video, and audio. So that's just something else to be aware of as another way of collecting information, another way of collecting uh, work from our students if we chose not to use another source such as Teams, OneNote, for example. 